Hey everyone, Ben from Living Survival, and today we're going to take a look at another viewer request from one of you. It's the Windcatcher AirPad 2. So I like that the AirPad 2 rolls up very neatly. It connects with this little uh, this little D hook here around an elastic band that keeps it, uh, you know, nice and secure when rolled up. So there's no stuff sack. I like that. You can just you know throw it in with your camping gear. It weighs one pound 14 ounces, and as we'll look at in a moment, it's got this rip stop. 75d material so i do find it's quite durable so the feature that makes this pad unique is the way that you inflate it and deflate it we can simply just uh unclip the hook there it's uh still nice and grassy from last time i used it now you want to make sure that you spread it out completely here You want to make sure that your standard nozzle here is shut all the way and then all you're going to do is simply open this put your hand in so that you make sure that the uh the valve here is going towards the direction uh inside the pad and then we're just going to blow from a few inches away and it blows up quite quickly Now they also have printed instructions on how to inflate and deflate, but once you get about 20 or so breaths blown into this, you simply just roll this end up and then you connect your D hook. If you need a little more or less air, you can do so using the standard nozzle. So the Windcatcher is made of 75D material. It's a ripstop material, so it is very durable. I had this on, I have it on grass now, but I had it on sort of a rocky uh, with lots of little sticks over the 4th of July weekend and it held up very well. I also like these little baffles in it. Again, I've talked about that, what that does in other videos. It basically allows your sleeping bag to get a little bit of uncompressed loft, keeping the bottom of your sleeping bag a little bit warmer. Now this doesn't have any insulation in it, so it would be best for a, you know, a summer bag, maybe into early fall or late spring as well. The AirPad 2 is very comfortable. I'm 5 foot 10 and it fits me okay. I'm not sure if they have a long version, so that's something to consider. You're definitely going to want to check the dimensions listed on their website. The AirPad 2 is going to easily fit into most of your standard size tents. This is a three season from Big Agnes and it worked well when we used it over the 4th of July. Another really cool feature of the AirPad 2 is you can use these straps here and you can actually fold up the pad and turn it in to a camp seat. And then they simply just connect those straps to hold it together. So once you've connected the straps on both sides, it becomes a very comfortable camp chair. Who'd have thought that you could just, you know, fold up a pad into three and use it as a chair around camp. It is very comfortable. It seems very durable and stable and I could easily, you know, use this around camp as a chair during the day. So finally deflating the air pad too is super simple as well. You simply just open the, uh, the end here, make sure that the, uh, the valve on the inside or the plastic on the inside is going the other direction. And you simply just roll the air out. You don't have to put any weight on it. You don't have to, uh, you know, do anything fancy. Once I've rolled it up once, I just unroll it again so that I can uh, fold it. Fold it into three there and then roll it up tight.
Once you're to the end, you simply just take the elastic, run it around, and reconnect it to your uh, D-clip there, making it super simple to stow away. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video today, taking a look at the Windcatcher Air Pad 2. It's not a product I would have probably found on my own, so I want to thank my subscribers for always recommending great products that we can take a look at, especially when they are affordable like the AirPad 2. It costs 99 bucks, so it's about half as much as an equivalent model from Thermarest. It seems to be just as comfortable and just as durable with that 75 uh, D fabric on it. I really like that it inflates fast and deflates fast and rolls up and packs down uh, very neatly. I like the fact that it can also be used as the seat, so it's a pretty versatile item that would be great to have on a camping trip. At four inches and being a full-size pad, it's not going to be the lightest pad on the market. It weighs again at one point uh, one pound 14 ounces, but it will support up to 285 pounds, which is nice. So I'm going to leave a link below to where you can find out more information as well as purchase one for yourself. Again, thanks to my subscribers for recommending products. Continue to do so. Hope you guys leave me a comment in the, the section below. Hope you guys give this video a big thumbs up for me. And as always, guys, if you haven't done so already, please click that red subscribe button and subscribe to my channel for more videos.